Hey guys, this is the Ultimate Warrior, and in this video, I wanted to give my pre impressions of the video game Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 for the PS4. Now, before I get into that, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry if I sound weird. I'm still trying to get over a cold or something, so I wanted to wait until I was fully better, but I just had the urge to start making videos again, so I actually just got finished making my, uh, my review on Battlefield 1, so if you're interested in hearing what I have to say or you just want to listen to some rambling then yeah feel free to check that out but the other thing is that normally i would just have my playstation vita just film on this game for my pre-impression but i'm kind of sick and tired of my vita cutting off on me and telling me that i can't save the video for whatever reason and i don't really feel like going through that right now so this will be a webcam version so hopefully I can get a better or higher quality webcam in the future. I'm looking at the Logitech webcam for that. But until then, yeah, I'm sorry about the, the bad quality webcam and having to do it on there instead of just uh, focusing the video on this game instead of my ugly mug. But without further ado, my impressions of the game is you know I don't know I actually have mixed feelings about this uh, I'm sure if you're watching this you're probably a Dragon Ball Z fan maybe uh, if you've looked on various uh, websites or forums that talk about you know new Dragon Ball Z games there are some people who say that they don't want to buy another game that's Dragon Ball Z unless it's a Budokai Tenkaichi 4 or it is a, a remaster of Budokai Tenkaichi 1, 2, and 3 or even just 2 and 3. So I'm pretty sure if you played or if you followed the Dragon Ball games over the last five or six years you've seen those type of people and I admit that I'm probably one of those type of people uh, I don't go on forums and websites and stuff spamming that there should be a remaster but there should be a remaster and quite honestly I the, the best Dragon Ball Z game I have played is a uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, or actually the best Dragon Ball Z games are, to me, are Budokai Tenkaichi 2 and 3. Budokai Tenkaichi 2 has the better story, but Budokai Tenkaichi 3 has the better gameplay mechanics and better roster. I could talk about that almost for an hour, but since we're not really talking about that right now, I can make a separate video on that if you like, but... Since we're not really talking about that, I'll try my best to get back to Xenoverse, but to Xenoverse 2. But I feel like it's important to say because that is what makes me kind of have mixed emotions about the game. I saw, uh, I think GameSpot do a live gameplay coverage of it, and it looked pretty interesting. And I kind of figured, why not? You know, I'm willing to try it because as much as I would love the remakes of Budokai Tenkaichi 2 and 3 to come, I just don't think they're coming anytime soon. I haven't given up hope about that, but <clears throat> I'm not going to hold my breath either. <coughs> Sorry about that, still recovering. But as far as this game, I don't know, let's just look at the back. I'm just going to read the back. It's time to go Super Saiyan and save the Dragon Ball timeline. Your character, your way. Choose among thousands of customization options to create your own character and build up your power. Bigger and better. Explore a massive all-new 
hub city with hundreds of players and activities. New local and online battles. Fight through new classic and team battles with up to six players, including characters from Dragon Ball Super. And you have these little images on the back of the little cutscenes or whatever. That purple image, it kind of looks like Goku. Some is kind of hard to see. I just kind of wonder what, what the heck is going on there. Yeah, if you notice the hair, like what the heck. I don't remember this in the Dragon Ball Z anime. It, it, it might have been there, you know. <clears throat> I haven't seen every single episode of Dragon Ball Z. But, I don't know, maybe just because of some alternate timeline. But the game, I don't know, it's, it's really hard for me to give my pre-impressions of the game where when Buddha, when a Tenkaichi series is my standard. And we're already over six minutes in here and I really haven't said anything about this. Um, I bought the game so I'm willing to give it a chance. You know, I I don't think the music is going to be the best here. I think, honestly, I'll probably want to play with the music turned off. But I think the gameplay is going to be intense. I think it's going to have those very fun moments. And, like, really, I feel like I'm going in here blind. I, well, I think it's going to be fun. You know, not as fun as the Tenkaichi series, but I, I do think it will... Uh, hold its own, maybe, with funness. Um, I, I'm kind of concerned about jumping in with the, uh, gameplay, me the gameplay mechanics. I wonder if that's going to be a difficult thing for me to master. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'll give it, a, I'll give it a shot. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um... I feel like this might be a long game. I feel like with all the possibilities, this game might be, I don't know, 10 to 20 hours. I'm just kind of guessing. Maybe it's like way lower than that. Maybe it's way more or way longer, but I don't know. I feel like this is one of those games where I can't just beat it in one setting. I feel like I'll have to... Sit down and play it, you know, take a break, then come back to it. You know, uh, this is one game where I'm really interested in seeing how my review is going to turn out after I play this game. Because, again, you know, coming off of the Tenkaichi series over six years ago, I'm I'm very curious to see how I will adapt to this game and if this game will make me want to buy a Xenoverse 3 or whatever Dragon Ball game wants to come out. I've I've had a good hankering for a Dragon Ball game. So I figure it's it's time for me to, you know, move on and actually give these newer Dragon Ball games a chance. Um I have Raging Blast, but just haven't really gotten into it. Haven't had the time to play. But I am kind of looking forward to playing this. So, yeah. I, I'm sorry if this video wasn't what you expected. To be honest, I'm kind of shocked that it went in this direction. And I, I really... I'm just really curious about this game. Um... Like I said, I got the game, so I think it'll be decent, you know. But, yeah, the only thing left to do is just to pop this bad boy in and play it and see how it's like. You know, kind of looking forward to that. I think I'll play this game tonight. It'll be a nice way to bring in the uh, Thanksgiving. But... I guess that's enough rambling for now. Again, sorry about my voice and sorry about this uh, pre-impression. But like I said, I'm, I'm interested in doing my uh, overall review whenever that happens. So I think I've rambled far too long in this video. 
already. So if you by some chance happen to like my pre-impression of this game or you are just a fan of video games or even Ultimate games in general or even a fan of drink testing or, you know, just some of the latest, you know, game reviews that I have or pre-impressions, <clears throat> then feel free to check out the rest of my channel. And if you somehow happen to like what you see, then please, you know, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, do what you gotta do, <clears throat> and I'll see you guys in the next video, which I honestly have no clue what that will be. That will probably either be Tomb Raider or my latest customized wall scroll. So yeah, it'll, it'll probably be one of those, so... Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.